Well, it was job done. To be honest, I thought we, we probably deserved to win a little bit more comfy on the on the chances that we had. Uh, but yeah, obviously it was job done. We, we put a lot of hard work into the first leg, got a narrow lead in, and obviously managed to see the job through on Sunday. So, do you feel momentum is a good thing um, coming off a win, or the fact that Hibs are coming off an 18 day break, does that give them an advantage? Well, I, listen, you can look at either way. Personally, I think I would have much rather have had a few competitive games in that, that spell. It's, uh, it's a long time to go without a game, but again, at the end of a long, hard season, it might, it might bring a freshness to them, but uh, for us, it was all, we can only do what we've been asked to do, which was go and beat Queen of the South over the two legs, which I, I think we've done, and, and deservedly so. And uh, obviously, it's got us in going into this game in a, in a confident mood. Do you feel you need to take a lead to Easter Road? Well, uh, ideally, yeah, we're at home. Hopefully, I'm going to be in front of a, another full house, which was great to play in front of that on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, if we can take a, a lead to Easter Road, it would be great. Obviously, on the evidence of the last time we went there, we don't. We, we know we can go there and win. I mean, we went and won two and all that day, and I, again, I, th I felt we won well. So, uh, a lead would be great, but it's obviously not critical that we do get the win. Given what's at stake, Kenny, as much as we're going to come down to nerve and experience, and therefore our Rangers will serve that way. To be honest, that'll be down to how, how we play. Us, I mean, I think the, over the course of the season we have been very up and down. I felt we did string two decent performances together there against Queens, which is when it mattered. So hopefully we can continue that work and and do that in the in the up and co up and coming two legged game against Hibs. So obviously, that like said, we're in front of a, hopefully in front of a, a full house on on uh, tomorrow night, and we can and we can take a lead, albeit any kind of lead to Easter Road would be great. Did that atmosphere at the weekend there? Did that kind of remind you of you know, your previous spell here? It certainly was the loudest that's it's probably been in years. What what does that do for? To be honest, it was very similar to the, to the atmosphere of the Hearts game. Which, yeah, a lot of, I've seen a lot of people kind of refer to that this year, well, in the last few weeks. Uh, it was a fantastic atmosphere that day. Great performance and great result for the lads. And I had that feel with it again on Sunday where I, I do recall a spell in the second half and we're still getting beat 1 0, and the fans were just in, in full voice. And it really did, I think, I actually scored right after the, the bit I remember anyway, when they, they seemed to come to life. And within a couple of minutes, we were back in the game. and. Again, I, I felt on the balance of play on Sunday, we did deserve that, but the fans were great. Important, again, that they get right behind us tomorrow night, because it can, it can kick us on to that next level. We obviously speculated about it at the time, but in hindsight now, in this situation, how important was the win at Easter Road psychologically? I mean, can you imagine going into this having not beat Hibs at all this season? To be honest, I took heart for the game before that as well. I felt the game, we got beat 2-0 at Easter Road, uh, sorry, at, at Ibrox. Uh, I thought we played very well that night and uh, I don't think we deserve to get beat on the night. So I'd actually took great heart for that. Obviously the previous games had been a very one-sided affair against Hibs, both home and away. So that game served as a, a, a wee sign that we can perform against them, perform well, and albeit the result wasn't great on the night, uh, it gave us good heart going at the next game, which we went and won pretty comfortably, I felt, that day. But did that win perhaps signal the change in momentum in the season? Listen, that was a... We were drew them one obviously over the, the results against them and the league hadn't been great uh, going into that game so it was uh, about time we put a performance on that day and it's, I thought we'd done very well. That will serve no meaning going into these next two games, it's important that we get we get right. Yeah, we can look at that game and, and how we've done well and how we troubled them and, and how we stopped them playing that day and we've got to use that and use that experience and, and, and take into these next two games. But the, the result and the, and the previous results have no bearing on, on the result of this game, that's for sure. It's you spoke a about... It's a great emotion for you, given that it's one of your old teams and you have your ties, but with Hibs, that only one of Hibs and Rangers left either. Listen, of, of course, it's... Uh, I had four in my first four years as a professional footballer at the, at the club, and I have some great memories of being there. I mean, still got a few friends that are still at the club. I mean, the, when you go and play and you see the... The people who work at Easter Road more so obviously than players. I mean, it's a, a long time ago since I was there, but obviously you still see a few familiar faces when you go back to Easter Road and things. So, yeah, I mean, it'd be great if if, if we both could have went up because you've got the, I think the league needs Hearts, Hibs, and Rangers back in it. But uh, obviously that can't happen this year. So hopefully it's going to be us that go up this year. You said it's not critical to take a lead into the second leg. Is it important that the fans don't get anxious then during the game? Now, Listen, I mean, the fans, the fans come, and I think on. History of Rangers is, is you're expected to win every game, and as players we know that. But uh, in these games, they are a different, they're a different entity when you're just playing a one-off league game. Where it's, a, it's probably critical that you do win because every game you need to win. But we'll be going to win. I mean, mate, 
make no mistake about it, we're expected to win, we, we, we want to win, but in the, the bigger picture it isn't critical because you know, we know that obviously off the last game we can go there and win, and win well. So as much as we are going for the win and we, we want to win and we, and we believe we can win, it isn't critical, which is the point I'm trying to make is we can still go to Easter Road and win 2-0, which is what we've done in the last game. You take any heart from last season, Hibs last season, this is the season who managed to... No. Nah, listen, no really, no really. I mean, it's a different manager, a different group of players, albeit listen, a lot of them are the same, but it's a, I think they're a different team this year under under Alan Stubbs. He's done a great job and it'll be a very tough game for us. What happened last year, again, I'll have no reflection on what will happen in the next couple of games. Kenny, you had some mixed experiences when you were down south in the playoffs. I believe when you were at Wolves, you scored against a Sheffield United team that had a Stuart McCoy. I'm sure he actually just reminded me of that a couple of weeks ago. I think he came on. He says he came on in the game, which I, I can't actually remember. But uh, yeah, we managed to put one over on them that day. Do you think you owe him something now in the playoffs? Listen, we need to. I mean, we're all the club. But I mean, the club is important. We get back to the back to the Premiership, which we'll say is all along as our goal. Uh, Everything else will sort of sell out after that, but we need to make sure that we put the performances in and get the results that's required to get us back to where we belong. What do you remember about those experiences and, and the nerves and everything that goes on with the playoffs? It is, it's a, it's a nervous time. I think I, mean, I was 22, 23 at the time when we were in that playoff final. And obviously, you know what's at stake in that playoff final the, the financial gain for the club. It was going to be the first time that the club had been back to the top league, and I think it was. 19 years and so many months it was, and we had it down to the minute, I think, it was on a banner on the stand, so we knew what it meant that day. Obviously, this is just as significant to get us back, this club, this great club, back to where it belongs.